I am here on behalf of my husband, Harry. I met Harry in 2009 at work. Um, long story short, he's a lawyer and a, ju a retired judge. And he tricked me into going on our first date. I thought it was a group event and I showed up and it was just he and I. He took me on a proper date after that. Um, I found him to be brilliant, energetic, despite our difference in age. He swept me off my feet. We got married two years later. He had been living in Las Vegas, retired, moved up here to Reno, where we bought a home in 2012. And that unfortunately is about the time that I started to notice cognitive changes. You don't notice when you don't live with the person, but when you're around them 24 seven, you notice that things change, they're forgetting things. And unfortunately, the following year in 2013, he had a stroke. It turned out to be slight blessing in disguise because finally, after trying several neurologists who said, oh, that's normal aging when he forgets things. And one even said, oh, wives like to catch their husbands forgetting things, um, which made me feel terrible. But my husband went, yay. It means nothing's wrong. Well, in 2013, I talked to the doctor who treated him in the hospital who says, oh yeah, we're gonna start doing the testing. It definitely sounds like some form of dementia. It is now Alzheimer's. I had to push to get that diagnosis for the longest time. We went through three, four neurologists since his stroke who kept saying dementia and I was doing all of this reading and research and all these books, you kind of have to be your own researcher. Um, because everyone just thinks it's normal aging and it's kind of cute when they forget things. And so I was coming to the doctor saying, okay, well, what can we do? I know there's no cure, but aren't there tests? Um, shouldn't we be doing things? And I actually had to push to get tests done more than just the draw the clock face, remember these three words, which he aced in the beginning. And then slowly it got worse. He stopped driving in 2015, which was unfortunately right around the time when I discovered I had cancer. So my parents actually had to fly across country to both help take care of him and me as I went through surgery and recovery. So it's, it's been a challenge. Thank you.